Well, I've tried to have a commitment in these blogs, um, sorry, vlogs, to show and not tell, but every now and then a little bit of exposition is in order. This would be one of those times. So as you saw in the previous week's vlogs, my mom was in the hospital. Yesterday, um, she we, we thought she was gonna get out the day before yesterday, but yesterday she actually did get discharged. At the same time, Summer decides after waiting two years that she has to get her a car now. She Her car was uh, totaled when someone hit her two years ago. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. But um, it took a long time to get the settlement money. And then once she had the settlement money, she just sat on it for a while because, you know, other things in life were busy, whatever. Anywho, yesterday is the day that she says, hey, I've got to go get a car. I need your help. And the whole week, my plan, I had this really ambitious plan for the studio to just start finishing off songs. We've got, we've got 11 songs now. Yesterday, I actually did the guide tracks and we did drums, bass, and the guitars on a brand new song um, called This Can't Be Undone, which I was gonna hold off on that. And I was gonna use that session to start polishing off songs that we had gotten like, you know, 75, 80% completed. However, uh, Harrison practices once a month in a, with a church band, bumped up the, pre the, uh, the start time from the normal 5.30 to four o'clock to accommodate that. Well, I guess I didn't confirm or what have you. And um, he was confused about the time to start. So I got there and started at four, which was fine because I used that time to go ahead and lay down the guide track, guitar and scratch vocal. Uh, and then eventually I think he got there about 4.40, whatnot. So uh, we were able to get that song pretty much done but instead of putting doing his parts on some other songs so i just just left that but one of the cool things that i did do was um uh, bring in my um what i call is my beater guitar basically beater just means it's a cheaper guitar i don't have to worry about it as much as my five thousand dollar gibson you know when i'm playing somewhere where i'm making very little money i can take this guitar and not worry about it getting knocked over so much because hey it's it cost me 400 bucks you know but anyway it's a really good sounding guitar it's a special series from uh martin guitars called the x series and it is famously made out of formica which uh you'd think might not be the most conducive uh material to create a guitar from uh, these things are supposed to be virtually unscratchable on the surface, but uh, but I actually really ended up liking how this guitar sounded. And a song that we cut a couple weeks ago, I actually wrote on it called "The Leaving Game," whereby I, uh, you know, I did my typical G over C uh, progression, and uh, but in this case, I put the capo on the fourth fret, which put it in B, uh, which is a key that I almost never play in, uh, you know, just for whatever reason, and. Um, I, I, I had cut, we had cut this on the Gibson J200 earlier and I thought, man, I just feel like that guitar has a different sound and would sound really, really good on this particular song. So I brought it in and put a third acoustic guitar down, you know, in conjunction with the two J200, Gibson J200 tracks that were already there. And it did sound really, really good. And then I even went further and I, um, played leads with this guitar and, um, you know, being a bit of a gearhead, I'm not a serious gearhead like my friend Eddie, of course, who owns the studio, who has uh, more resources to be a gearhead, shall we say, and uh, he uh, actually complimented the guitar, and he said, you know, I don't, and he's got like dozens of acoustics, he said, I don't have any guitar that sounds like that, I really like it, he said, I might have to get me one, and uh, man, that made me feel good, I was like, ah, oh, I made a good investment here, because if, uh, if this guy thinks it sounds good, then I know it's not just me, and it actually really does have a cool unique sound to it but it sounded amazing on the um, on the actual uh, tracks and I'm gonna put along with this video I'm gonna include a little bit of me sitting there uh, tuning up and just playing some licks and a little bit of me playing fills with it uh, unfortunately the camera cuts off before I get into the the main solo where I actually popped a string on it because I was going to town with some blues licks but anyway it was a fun night and I also captured a bunch of uh, outtakes of Harrison you know building like an amazing solo the way we do it is just to do let him just go crazy you know four or five six times and then comp the pieces that we like the most into the final solo and uh but it's it's i think they're all great but it's really funny because harrison tends to get a little hard on himself if if things don't work out you know a certain kind of way but uh anyway it was a fun fun night and uh, so i got to work on two songs and including 
you know, doing about 80% of this new song. Just a little bit of the end. Y'all need a minute? Y'all ready? Um, I'll just take a stab at something and you go ahead. Okay. You know, give, give us a minute. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. Fine. You don't know what you want. Alright, now blow on the end of it. Point it at me. Alright, like this. Okay. Pull it, pull it just a little. Put that in your. Alright, now try it. Now try it. Uh, oh, you got me. Uh, okay. You like the salad? You like the shrimp? You like the, the peaches, the pears? I love the salad. Okay. Oh, it's good. Did you get it all? A car like buggy. A car buggy. Like the one at Food Lion, right? Yes, one like that Food Lion, so I want to go in so so we can look. So you can drive it? Mm-hmm. How about the one at Ingles? But do they have like, 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 um, like, uh, Food Lion? Well, I'm aware of the one at Ingles, but I guess there's one at Food Lion, too. Well, one like, like at Ingles? Yes. Like at Ingles, Food Lion? Make sure I get all that too. You want one more hush puppy before we go? They don't play around. Are you chilly? That one's wet too. You know what this town's called? Do you remember that park? You remember me and you and my friend Bill? That park over there. Do you remember? About a year ago, me and you and my friend Bill, we went over there and we watched a band. And then we went down there, okay. down. Remember, we went down there, over there, and you rode those dinosaurs. Bill Herman, my friend Bill Herman. Uh huh. Yeah. Come here. Let me show you what this says. Look. It says village restaurant. Are you cold? Are you cold? Look at that. It says village restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Yeah, sit on it. Sit on the dry one though. If you're gonna sit on it. Yeah, sit on this one. That one's wet. The ones inside are dry. So sit on that one. That's wet. But See, it's wet. It's wet. This one's dry, though. But this one's dry. That one's wet. It's not dry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yay! 
Yeah, I think so. Nope. Hit the green hit the green hit the green button to go back. So if you click No. Oh. <laughs> 